All right, let's take a look at finding people in realist tax search. So let's say you have someone's name or maybe you have someone's address, but you don't know who the homeowner is. You're going to utilize the realist tax uh, tool that's going to be in our Paragon or Real Comp. But for this video, we're going to use the MI Real Source realist tax search. So you're on your dashboard here um, on MI Real Source. You're going to go to the top bar here, tax. You're going to click it and click down into realist tax search. So a new window is going to open up for you. So I'm just going to use my home for the example. Please, nobody come knock on my door um, or do anything like that. But um, let's just say that we're looking for me as a homeowner um, and I only have my name, but I don't know my address or the prospect's address. So what we want to do is put the last name first and then the first name next. So Nash Chandler. We're going to hit enter. All right. And here it is right here. Chandler Nash owns 53314 Jacqueline. Um, and you can actually click on this and it will bring up an information sheet in regards to um, everything as to who the homeowners are, how much the home was bought for, um, the sale date, uh, square footage, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a ton of information on here, whether you need the property ID, uh, the state equalized value, what the taxes are, um, where the home's located, um, the school district that it's in. Um, there's a ton of information on this ticket um, that you can use. Um, so I use my name there, but let's say I don't have the person's name. I'm looking up an address. My client's interested in a home, but they don't know the name of the person to get the contact information. So what you can do is go up to the address bar right here and you can type in 53314 Jacqueline Drive. And if you hit enter, that's gonna pull it up. And again, it's going to have the person's name, their address, where it's located, zip code, et cetera, et cetera. And again, you can click on here and it's going to give all the property details in regards to this property. There's a couple other things you can do with your um, realist tax search. So um, you can look up by MLS number. So say you, there's an MLS listing number, you can type it in here or you could type it in property ID. Um, you also may want to say, hey, um, I want to look for counties that are outside the tri-county area or outside Metro Detroit. Um, so let's say you wanted to look on the west side of the state. You can click into Allegan County and include any properties in there. Let's say you wanted to look up north. You can look up by clicking in Alpena, but the default settings on these are going to mainly be in Metro Detroit. So Genesee, Lapeer. Livingston, Macomb, Wayne, Oakland, um, Washtenaw, St. Clair, all these counties are most likely going to be on your default search. And these are going to be located on the right scroll bar here. But again, say you're looking for somewhere up north, you want to look in Oscoda County, you can add Oscoda County to it, hit apply. And then that way, you can use that and look up any addresses in that search as well. So again, Going through a couple different things here, you can change your counties by clicking on the change county bar up top there. You can search by address. If you simply have someone's address, you could search by owner name, last name first, first name last. If it's listed on the MLS, search by the MLS number or your property ID, just click search. Once it pulls up, you can get all the property details on it. If you have any questions, let me know.